Now, I know I've already done, like, uh, I, I put out that, uh, Falk guide, how to play Falk on day one and everything. And, uh, I do cover a lot of, uh, combos and what to do, uh, in most situations in that video. But I've never actually put out a strict, uh, combo video for Falk and what combos to go for most frequently in what situations. So, that's what this will be. Uh, uh, this will be the very thorough, and I'll go through, uh, every single section and all of the go-to combos and setups that you'll be able to do. I won't be covering, um, Oki options, uh, because I already covered that in my other video for Oki. So, here we go. So, as for mid-screen meterless combos, we have as follows. Uh, we have all of our light base combos, the uh, most prominent ones being Crouching Light Kick, Crouching Light Punch, which at point blank can link into Schneide or V-Skill. Uh, and any combo, Schneide has just slightly less range than V-Skill, one cancelled, so... In, uh... In situations where uh, it'll usually whiff, it'll also usually whiff for V-Skill, but V-Skill has a bit more range, so it usually will work off the medium kick. That being said, Schneide is almost always a better option to go for. So, as you can see with the V-Gauge bar, the main re the, the knockdown that you get off of Schneide and V-Skill is almost identical, except that the uh, one for Schneide is one frame better for Falk. However, the V-Skill obviously builds V-Gauge, but the problem with this is that the V-Skill builds V-Gauge, it builds about a third of one full bar. So if I do it three times, there, I built a V-Reversal. But the problem with this is that the V-Gauge that you build is scaled based on the combo. So I barely built any V-Gauge on that one. So it's up to you if you really want to combo into the V-Skill a lot of the time, uh, it usually won't build you that much V-Gauge. And the Schneide will always do significantly more damage. The V-Skill only does 60, and the Schneide does 120. So that would do 204, and that would do 246. So I would say, uh, um... I was messing around with doing the V-Skill Ender for most of it, and just building up uh, a V-Gauge really quickly. But uh, after I, I, I realized that um, the V-Gauge is scaled based on the combo, then I decided to go for the uh, damaging option more often. And uh, whenever you can, off of those normals, the Catapult will uh, lead to uh, less damage and a worse knockdown but it will have more corner carry. So those are the main enders that you can do combos with. But anyways, other than that, you have standing light kick into light punch, or standing light kick into crouching light punch, all of which can link into Kugel. Like so. Then you have your standing medium punch, standing medium kick, Schneide. That's your default combo that you get off of a jump in with no meter. Uh, and I want to mention that if even if you get the counter hit, you can counter hit confirm standing hard medium punch into standing hard punch. However, if you're not going to spend meter or V trigger, there's no reason to do this. Because if you do standing medium punch, uh, counter hit standing hard punch, you won't be able to link Schneide afterwards. You'll only be able to link catapult and that will do less damage and have a worse knockdown than just going for the Schneide. So, unless you're going to spend resources, don't counter hit con or or if you're too far away for the medium kick to link afterwards into the Schneide, like so. You can counter it confirm it. But if you're point blank, there's no reason to counter it confirm medium punch into hard punch unless you're going to spend bar. In addition, other mid-screen meterless combos, there is a Cannon End into Crouching Light Punch into Schneide. Or from slightly further away. 
Kinonen into Crouching Light Punch into Kugel. And the situations where you would actually land this are... Like that, when you're using it to low profile. Then we have our down forward hard kick combos. Like so. Schneide will not link after a after this, but the B skill will. So you can go for the B skill, catapult, or anything like that. Uh, and then, if you are hitting the uh, the down forward hard kick not point blank, so not as a meaty situation, uh, you'll want to be hit confirming this in a single hit. Because you won't be able to link really much of anything afterwards. Uh, you can get that, but really you would want to uh, confirm it into the Schneide. Once again, this is meterless, mid-screen, no V-trigger combos right now. So you would hit this uh, uh, down forward hard kick in not point blank situations actually quite a lot because it is a low and it's what you're using to catch people trying to walk away from your throws and pressure, so... Like so. Now for corner combos, uh, there is standing hard punch, cannon in, uh, crouching light punch, Schneide. However, you won't really be able to get this off of a jump in because you'll be a bit, um, it's nearly impossible to do this and still be close enough for the Schneide to link. So off of a jump in, you'll usually be doing, um, medium punch. Cannon in, Crouching Light Punch, Schneide, for the best meterless damage. Or, uh, but that's off of a high jump in. Off of a, if you, say, get the stun and want to get, um, and have all the time in the world to set up whatever, you'll want to do, uh, your, your meatiest, latest jump in so that you can get a full combo with the down forward hard kick. For the highest stun output, off of a jump in, you can do uh, uh, standing hard punch, cannon and crouching light punch, kugel for 526 stun with no meter. Uh, another uh, route that you can do with a, a meaty or uh, say a safe jump jump in is you can do uh, Jump in, down forward hard kick, standing medium punch, cannon and crouching light punch, kugel for 570, 572 stun. And for a non-point blank uh, down forward hard kick, you can go for cannon and into uh, crouching light punch, Schneide. Mid-screen counter hit combos. So there's counter hit confirms with uh, standing light kicks to standing medium punch. Like so, or a bit farther away. There is a range where it'll whiff. Then there's uh, most of the uh, Counter hit combos, uh, you can also do uh, any counter hits into with lights. All lights will counter hit into uh, other lights or standing light kick, which you'll be using quite regularly. Like so. You can do counter hits, counter hit of uh, standing or crouching light punch into Schneide. And like I said, if you're uh, if you get counter hit standing medium punch and you're close enough to do the medium kick Schneide, uh, unless you're going to spend meter, there's no reason to not do this. But if you're farther away and it won't link, 
which you have to be pretty far away, but yeah, about there. You can go for that. On counter hit, counter hit sending medium punch to sending hard punch. There's also counter hit, crouching medium kick to uh, crouching light punch kugel. Same thing with uh, crouching medium punch. And then uh, your optimal damage for a uh, a whiff DP, or sorry, not a whiff, but uh, your optimal damage if you bait out uh, any X reversal or anything counter hittable is uh, starting with uh, point blank sending hard punch into medium punch, medium kick Schneide. Off of a counter hit point blank uh, down forward hard kick, instead of doing. Um, that combo, you can instead do Crouching Hard Punch Schneide. And from a farther distance, down forward hard kick on counter hit, you can link Standing Medium Kick into Schneide. Uh, this won't happen often, but off of a, uh, well, neither will the counter hit Crouching Medium Punch point blank, but uh, counter hit Standing Medium Kick. There's uh, another one that you can do a Crouching Light Punch into Kugel. And now for uh, crush counters. So crush counters are the only opportunity that Falk has to side switch in her combos. Uh, if she gets crush counter standing hard kick, she can dash forwards and back throw the opponent as part of the combo. Now, like I said, uh, standing hard punch will always be your optimal damage punish for um, this like mid-screen meterless combos like so, but uh, getting the actual crush counter of the standing hard kick will build you half a half a bar of V gauge. If you hit four crush counters, you'll build a full V trigger. Standing hard kick built by far the most V gauge out of all of her crush counters. So, if you are looking to build V-Gage quickly, or so I would actually recommend this is much more worthwhile than doing the V-Skill as at the end of your long combos or anything, and the little V-Gage that it will build. However, if you're just looking to deal damage, it's a much better idea to just do that. Uh, uh, Falk can also combo off of uh, Crush Counter and Crushing Hard Kick with a uh, Down Forward Hard Kick. Uh, depending on the distance that you get this Crush Counter at, Standing hard kick. Sometimes you won't be able to link Schneide if you're like hitting the, hit. If he does a, a fireball here and you hit him out of the startup of it from about here, um, eventually at a range like this far away, you won't be able to um, forward dash into a combo. So instead, like so. So instead, you can do a raw catapult. Counter hit combos in the corner. The um, optimal damage will still be the same as it was in mid-screen, so just that. Optimal stun will be that. You can also get a counter hit crouching hard punch into the, uh, the uh, cannon end, which you can combo off of with ease. And uh, if you get a very close ca crush counter forward hard punch for some reason, you can combo off that with four framers. I would recommend doing crouching light punch. And it will get a standing reset. And if you get a crush counter standing hard kick, you can dash forward for a medium punch cannon and crouching light punch Schneide. Now, mid-screen, one-bar combos with no counter hit. Uh, pretty much anything I'll just cover as, like, the base rule set goes. Going into, uh, EX Catapult, you have, uh, four options off of. You have Schneide for damage. 
You have V scale. Catapult. And Kugel. And then there's more specific ones for setups like down forward hard kick into a meaty V scale or, you know. That stuff. But, basically, uh, the situations I would recommend going for, I would usually recommend just going for the uh, Schneider. Uh, if you need to get, if you absolutely need to get uh, a guaranteed knockdown, just take the, um, take the EX Catapult as it is. Maximum corner carry will be EX Catapult into Catapult. Max damage will be the Schneide. And um, a decent setup, meaty setup, will be uh, off of the Kugel. If you are hitting this EX Catapult as a buffer or from really far away, sometimes you won't be able to make it walk forwards enough to get the Schneide. Uh, in this, in these situations, I'd recommend walking forwards and then doing uh, as late of, as possible of a catapult, because it will sort of reset your knockdown to uh, uh, something that's normalized to just the catapult knockdown, which uh, is not the case for anything else that you can get. So a uh, really long distance one, I'd recommend just doing the catapult. And most of the other situations, I'd recommend doing the Schneider. You'll be confirming this off of uh, a single hit of a standing hard punch most of the time, buffering standing medium kick, standing medium punch, uh, standing medium kick combo, uh, confirming off of a single hit of down forward hard kick when you're not point blank. Or the uh, down forward hard kick, standing medium punch, standing medium kick combo. And in addition, for one bar combos, uh, if they if the opponent does something that leaves them point blank at minus four, you can punish with a light punch into EX Schneide. All of these combos are pretty much exactly the same in the corner. There's uh, no corner specific one bar combos. On counter hit, obviously you'll be getting, like I said, if you get a point blank uh, standing medium punch, you will uh, look to counter hit that into the standing hard punch, into the EX Schneide, or EX Catapult into Schneide. And, uh,. As opposed to doing the um, down forward hard kick on counter hit point blank into a uh, crouching hard punch, you will once again, even if it is a counter hit, just do the full combo uh, into the EX catapult for more optimal damage. As for uh, counter hit, Corner specific one bar combos, there's uh, pretty much just a uh, crouching hard punch, candle nan, crouching light punch, get Schneider. Now for two bar combos, uh, it's really just the one thing. It's uh, anything EX catapult into EX Schneider will do a bit more damage. As for three bar combos, which means uh, pretty much just super combos, uh, you'll be getting, um, well, one thing that to note is that say the opponent does something that's uh, really bad on block, uh, the optimal punish for super will be crouching hard punch, Schneide into super, which will do more damage than standing medium punch, medium kick, Schneide super. So yeah, if the opponent does something that's at least minus eight on block, from point blank, no matter what, anything else you could punish with, uh, Crouching Hard Punch Schneide Super will always uh, be more optimal and do more damage. Handle this. Once again, um, same situation, uh, if you're landing your normal combos, just do Schneide into uh, Super, even if you get the counter hit. 
doing uh, the counter at confirm standing hard punch into catapult into super will not be as much damage. That was 454 versus. Four sixty. You'll also be confirming this off of gunshots. Any any lights in the Kugel, you can confirm it. Uh, standing hard punch catapult. You'll be confirming it off of or buffering medium kick in the catapult. And uh, if the opponent does something that's minus four, you can do standing light punch night a critical art. And uh, yeah. There are no real corner-specific uh, uh, super combos. All those ones are, are pretty much the most optimal. Anything involving the uh, cannon end will just cause more scaling and cause the uh, damage of the super to be reduced compared to something else, something simpler that you could have done. So that was off of a jump in, and that was 455 versus just... Handle this! 505. So, even if you're in the corner, just do your normal combos and it'll do more damage if you're going to end it with super. Now, there's a bunch of combos that you can do for the activation of V-Trigger 1. So, um, I'm, I won't be covering uh, the combos that you'll get afterwards, because I'll, I'll talk about those once I get into combos once you're in V-Trigger 1, but you can get... Forward hard punch, activation, forward hard punch, into whatever. You can get forward hard punch, activation, into uh, standing hard punch if you're close enough. Standing hard punch, activation, forward hard punch. Standing hard punch, activation, raw catapult. Kugel, activation, raw catapult, or or forward hard punch. Cannon in, activation, forward hard punch, or catapult. Or, uh, sitting hard punch. Uh, at any range, the cannon in on hit will leave you at plus 25, so you can always, um... If you're this close, obviously you can forward dash into whatever, or you could just walk in to get a bigger combo from but from here. You can always dash in and do light kick into whatever. As a, as a knockdown confirm off that. And from farther away, the cannon end will be uh, plus 28 on hit. Because it'll hit a bit later. So you can do a forward dash into standing medium kick in the catapult. Or or anything else like V-Skill. Or Schneider. The optimal damage that you would actually be getting with uh with uh, a V-Trigger confirm in mid-screen is something like that. For no meter. Crouching hard punch is always the thing you want to do if, if you don't want uh, your combo to have as- if you want to do as much damage early on, and then have, have uh, better scaling. Off of uh, your normal combo, you can do gunshot into a walk forwards. Into that. And at really any range that you're landing this. You can just walk forward and do medium kick Schneide or V skill, which becomes more relevant in, in V Trigger 1. Uh, one thing that I, I like to go for is uh, doing either of the gunshots, the uh, the Kugel or the Cannon N, into activation and then just leaving it, not even comboing off of it. Especially the crouching one, no matter how far away you hit it from, you'll be at least plus 25 on hit. And you can forward dash and be plus five, and you can go for a standing reset. If you land anything into the V-Skill into activation, uh, you can combo off of that with super. But really, I would just take uh, that one hit, and then just uh, 
take my uh, Oki of, of two forward dashes. There's also EX Catapult into Kugel activation forward hard punch, uh, which is significantly better in the corner. There is also a uh, Crouching Medium Kick activation, and you'll be plus 9, so depending on the range, you can get uh, a combo with Standing Medium Punch, or if you're farther away, Medium Kick. There's basically um, anything Crouching Hard Punch, Kugel. Into that, and that will be the uh, the the most damage you can get. Uh, there's also anything into Cannonen. You can get a walk forward into a down forward hard kick. Into uh, you know the full down forward hard kick combo in a, in the catapult or V skill or whatever. And then off of a longer range Cannonen activation where you'll be more than plus 25 on hit. You can get standing medium punch, cannon and crouching light punch, Schneide. As for counter hit combos into V-Trigger 1 activation, you can get, uh... Crush counter, standing hard, uh, uh, yeah, crush counter, standing hard kick activation, and, and, uh, this will leave you very plus, uh, plus 39, which will allow you to get some stuff. You can get a full, uh, jump and cross up. To side switch, for more damage than you would previously get, for more damage and an optional better setup for, than you would get for just, uh, taking, doing the forward dash into the back throw. There's obviously also forward dash into down forward hard kick full combo. And there's crush counter uh, forward hard punch into the catapult. And in the corner there's crush counter forward hard punch into uh, a variety of options. If you just want to go for a standing reset, standing medium punch will do the job. There's also V skill. And uh, regular Schneide. So, as for those combos, those activation combos, I would highly recommend. Um, I would highly recommend. Uh, trying to do a combo that leaves you with a good setup that won't spend any any of your V trigger shots. Uh, I tend to the the combo scaling that you get when you activate trigger is really bad. Like if I do crush counter, standing hard kick into a dash up, uh, the scaling goes from 100% to 60% right there. It's really bad. So. And then the crush counter, uh, the scaling only just gets worse and worse every single hit that you do. Uh, even more so than it would if you were doing a regular combo hit by hit. So, instead, I would tend to recommend trying to do V skill into activation and take two forward dashes. And therefore save all of your bullets for, um, combos that you'll have without the scaling. But, uh, yeah. If you do something else or really want to set up after something... You can spend a bullet, but I would recommend spending only one or try to spend none at all on the activation combo. So as for combos that you get in V-Trigger 1, um, I'm not going to be covering every single different route that you can do with like uh, Shrot into Ponzer or Ponzer into Shrot or whatever. I'll just be covering the, the, the general rules for it. So, uh, one thing that this allows you to do is, uh, your light confirms that you would previously only be able to get, uh, a kugel off of, you can now get a knockdown off of with, uh, the, the, uh, the shrot. 
That's one benefit. It's your, it's once again, your choice if you want to spend more bullets. However, I would recommend not doing so unless you're in the corner. Because, uh, the knockdown that you get off of just the shrot is really good. And the more bullets that you spend, this is an absolute rule for all of our combos. The more bullets that you spend in it, the worse your knockdown's going to be. So if I land a combo into that, I get a guaranteed, I get two guaranteed dashes into a throw. And then if I, if I spend more bullets, then I'm farther away. So I'd recommend only spending one bullet at a time unless you're going to get the stun, the kill, or you're in the corner already. Uh, like I al already covered in my Oki video, one shrot will lead to two four dashes, or anything into V-Skill in a shrot will lead to two four dashes and a guaranteed Oki, and anything into Panzer will lead to a safe jump on normal recovery. Uh, when you hit with the Panzer, just co confirm it into the, into the, or when you hit with the Ford Hard Punch, confirm it into the Panzer and then get your knockdown. Uh, if you if you just want to do more damage in a single combo, if you're getting a guaranteed jump in, or you've already, if you've got the stun and you can do whatever you want for your next combo, uh, the best way to uh, increase the damage of one of your combos uh, with a single gunshot is to do the Jaeger, the, the aerial one. Will, will increase your damage output by the most for a single gunshot. And uh, this is a rule for both of her V triggers, but basically, uh, look at any use of the the triggers, uh, any moves that you get in either of her triggers, as a single uh, single uh, enhanced special move, and look at any uh, use of her EX catapults as an enhanced special move to extend her combos and get more damage. So any time that you're using two enhanced special moves say two gunshots or an EX catapult and the gunshot you'll always do more damage by uh, uh, starting a combo or canceling off of crouching hard punch into your use of two enhanced special moves rather than doing the regular standing medium punch medium kick which will get worse scaling This is especially true for uh, if you're spending three. So an EX, EX catapult into uh, two gunshots spent or, you know, so on. Like so. And uh, if you're going to spend multiple gunshots in a single combo, know that, uh, well, one, for one, you won't be able to get, unless your B-Skill is really close, you won't be able to start it with the Ponzer. You'll have to start it with the Shrot, because the Ponzer will win. That being said, uh, uh, if you're close enough to get either of them, know that uh, Shrot does more damage but less stun, and Ponzer does less damage, but more stun. And uh, uh, depending on which order you use them in, based on scaling, it'll do uh, the Ponzer. If you do the Ponzer first, or if you only do the Ponzer, it'll do more stun. And if you do the Shrot, or Shrot in the Ponzer, it'll do more damage and less stun. Yeah, you won't be able to get super off of uh, a lot of stuff in mid-screen, especially if you're spending multiple bullets. 
uh, though you'll often hit them too far away. But uh, like I said, uh, especially when you're comboing into super, simplicity in the beginning and uh, just doing a crouching hard punch or hits that do more damage with uh, fewer hits uh, is usually a better option, so... Now, in the corner with Starkin, uh, the, the, the biggest corner combo that I would recommend most people incorporate into their game is uh, landing a hit into... without doing the B-Skill, just landing the hit, Panzer Schrott Ich Schneide, which will do uh, buckets of damage. You can uh, do this in a variety of situations off of a jump in. If you're uh, pressuring the opponent with uh, the um, medium kick V-Skill Schrott, uh, pressure loop, which uh, becomes much more vicious in the corner and leaves her right in range to throw. She can do a, a shimmy with uh, walking backwards slightly and doing another medium kick, which she can either cancel into the V-Skill to reset the pressure sequence again and do the same shimmy or go for the throw. So. It's a really vicious loop, especially since after the throw, she gets a, a meaty medium kick into V-Scale, which she can do to perpetuate the loop until she's out of V-Trigger. But uh, that's a situation where going for the shimmy after that, you can do it into the Ponzer, into the Schrott, and uh, then the EX Schneide and get a ton of damage. There's uh, also... Your regular corner combos, but enhanced, so standing medium punch. Anything that you would land into uh, Schneide will now do more damage if you land it into a uh, beast scale in the Schrott. Like so. And uh, in the corner, you can do the uh, Jaeger into down forward hard kick combos. Uh, much easier than you can in mid screen. which allows you to get even more damage out of them. So, uh, but the combo that I would recommend going for most frequently in mid-screen, by far and away, is just uh, if you land the hit, spending one bullet off of doing anything into V-Skill, medium kick into V-Skill, EX Catapult into V-Skill, into Schrott, and then taking two forward dashes. I wouldn't recommend doing any more gunshots or doing any more damage unless you're near the corner. Uh, that will give you tons of corner carry, plenty of damage. It's not really worth it to spend extra bullets at that point anyways. Especially if your combo is pretty long. Uh, and uh, the more and uh, that knockdown gives you a guaranteed Oki, whereas spending more bullets will not. So just anything in the B skill, Schrott. Now for Angry, you trigger two. Um, first I have to cover the activation, but it's a bit easier since this activation isn't really a cancel, it's just a single attack. So, really any special from any combo that you can land, you can cancel it into this. Optimal will still be, uh, Schneide into it. However, if you land it off of the, uh, EX Catapult, know that you can still, if you do it too early, it won't, it won't hit. But, uh, you can most certainly still get it off of Schneider, you just have to time it pretty late. Like so. And if you're doing it from a really long-range Catapult, in which you won't be able to get Schneider at all, just do the Catapult into it. And, uh, you can also confirm this off of, uh, Normals, Crouching Medium Kick. Uh, well, I say confirm, but you can, you can combo this off of normals, and you can buffer it off of, like, light punch and stuff. As for the, uh, Angriff combo structure, uh, the things that it allows you to get is, uh, just like, uh, the other one, Starkin allows you to get, uh, knockdowns off of your light confirms. This does, too. 
uh, a bit better than um, Starkin does because yeah I always forget that but um, uh, it is important to note that uh, standing a light punch in keeping with the fact that standing a light punch sucks for Falk um, standing light punch will not combo into the Sturm in V Trigger 2 uh, so in any situation where you're comboing just do crouching light punch instead like so Uh, standing light kick can be buffered into Sturm really easily at this range or farther. It'll always link if it if it ha happens to tag any normals and combo cleanly. Anything, any confirm into Kugel, you can just combo into the Sturm for a knockdown. Now, uh, as for uh, the damage output in terms of which moves or which combos will do more damage. Uh, anything into Schneide, into Klinge, like that, will do the most damage for, uh, for, uh, just spending a single use of the trigger, a single enhanced special move, like that. Anything else that you could do that spends the gauge won't do as much damage. Uh, it's not to say that nothing else will lead to better setups, but best damage for a single use will always be, uh, Schneider into Klinge, and like I said, if you're using at least two uh, enhanced special moves, so uh, one use of V-Trigger 2 and one uh, EX Catapult, it'll be always be op more optimal to do the Crouching Hard Punch when canceling into the EX Catapult instead of uh, Medium Punch, Medium Kick. As you can see, that did 365 uh, versus this. 373. So that would do more damage than, uh, that. So yeah, you can do, uh, the V-Skill into the Schneide or into, uh, into, uh, the, the Kugel you, is one option you can do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it as much. Or uh, into the catapult. You really want to go for that corner carry. Uh, v Trigger 2 has by far and away the best corner carry that she can get. Say like you get a, a crush counter here. Uh, at any point she can get a crush counter with a, a hard kick. She will always be able to get to a corner. If she's this close she can just back throw them into the corner. Into that corner. If she's any farther away really she'll be able to... Um, Take them all the way to the other corner. And uh, anything that you can do with, like, say, V skill, the enhanced V skill, which uh, does spend V gauge just as much as any of the other options, into uh, the special moves is pretty pretty similar to just doing EX catapult into the special moves. However, EX catapult will uh, always be a better option if you have the resources to go for it. Uh, because the EX Catapults will have more corner carry and do more damage. V-Skill into Schneide does 178 versus... EX Catapults into Schneide does 188. But, this does give you the, uh, the freedom to spend your resources, like, choose which resources you want to spend to do similar combos. So, like... Uh, another important combo that I haven't talked about yet uh, is now, uh, like I said, she gets really good corner carry, so it's not necess it's not really necessary unless you don't have the the remaining V trigger or or meter to get her like to fully extend her her corner carry. 
But uh, if you're not really going to get to the corner or you just want to guarantee knockdown uh, with Oki in mid screen, her her Oki option in this V trigger is anything into Schneide, which includes uh, EX Catapult Schneide into the Sturm, which will not hit, but it will give a better knockdown. You get a forward dash, and then you're right in their face if they normal recover or back recover. Off of the overhead in the Klinge, you get, um, if you're pretty close, you get standing medium punch, medium kick into whatever. And uh, most of the time, uh, if you're not in the corner already and you're probably going to be able to get to the corner, I would recommend just doing the one with the maximum corner carry, which is uh, Catapult into Sturm or EX Catapult into Catapult into Sturm. And then once you're in the corner, you can start going for the uh, Schneides into uh, Klinge, like so. But uh, if you're farther away and you land the overhead and you're not close enough for standing medium punch, you'll always do a crouching medium kick. Well, you'll you'll do crouching medium kick into Sturm. Or uh, if you're in between there and you don't have any, say, like V gauge left, you can do standing leg kick, Kugel Sturm. Which will do more damage than doing the just the crouching medium kick into Sturm. And if you're absolutely just farther away than that, you can only combo with super. And in the corner, there's one new thing that she gets the well, in addition to just her knockdowns getting better. So, which allows her to go with stuff with worth, worse knockdowns like that, that just do more damage. Uh, she also gets uh, a properly spaced standing hard punch, Kennelman into uh, Kling A as the overhead. And it will combo if, if uh, you're doing it at the right spacing. Now this being now this is by far and away the most optimal that you'll be able to get with one use of the V trigger two. However, I don't think it's worth spending any more uh, V gauge once you uh, land this combo or get this confirm. Yeah, I don't think it's worth adding in an extra like say 36 damage and spending in another extra use of the of the V gauge. So, uh, bear that in mind, I think it's more optimal to just take that damage and then just go for a regular knockdown, and then do like a throw bait with that, or just throw, or, you know, whatever, and uh, don't spend any more unless, unless you are going to get the kill. And uh, I already showed it off, but there's also the uh, counter hit. Uh, options for the V Trigger 2, which is a uh, crush counter into the overhead wall combo. And that's about it. Uh, those are the optimal combos. Implement them how you see fit.